Fender has seemingly out of nowhere come out with a couple of very cool new guitars with gold foil pickups. I've got the Tele in my hands right now. There's also a Jazzmaster forthcoming, so you know we're going to show you that one. But for now, let's talk about the Tele gold foil from Fender. How's it going, y'all? My name is Cooper Greenberg here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at Alamo Music. Dot com. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn your notifications on, like the videos, comment on them, let us know what you want to see. And I have seen quite a few comments recently since Fender announced these, um, asking for us to show them off on the channel. So we finally got them in. It's time to show off the Goldfoil Telecaster. Um, this is something that Fender kind of, like I said, dropped out of nowhere on us. They said we got a limited run of some cool Goldfoil stuff. And for me, I have not played a ton of gold foil pickups, so it was a nice way to kind of familiarize myself a little bit better with the sound that you get. Um, they've been popular forever. You know, they've come in and out of popularity, but really they, they have a long history in electric guitars and rock and roll music. Um, some of you might be familiar with, with the old uh, DeArmond stuff. More contemporarily, there is the Harmony Jupiter that a good friend of mine Preston plays all the time, and he's always talking about the gold foils. So it's cool to see Fender jumping on the gold foil ship. Um, these are two mini humbuckers. They are gold foil mini humbuckers, as you can kind of deduce. They are, you know, kind of halfway in between the size of a normal tele pickup and a full-on humbucker. But uh, yeah, they're super cool sounding, very warm tone, very rounded, kind of jazz blues, you know, focused, but not as jangly, I've, I've heard them described many times as resonator-like, and there is not much resonator sound that I'm picking up off of this one, but maybe that's because this is not a resonator guitar, it's a solid body guitar. But the Telecaster comes in two finishes. To my knowledge, this is the finish that we are going to get. We might not see that white blonde. If you're really interested in it, give us a call. We might be able to order you one. But this is Candy Apple Burst, and the Candy Apple Burst is also present in the Jazzmaster, um, as well as a Shoreline Gold that I'm really excited for. Kind of plays off the gold foil pickups. Um, these are made in Mexico. Pretty much your standard tele setup after that. Three-way switch. No push-pulls on these guys. Just straight up volume and tone. Really nice looking ebony on the fretboard. And these vintage style tuners with white buttons. So it kind of goes into this very old school. Also, I've failed to mention um, three brass saddles, not six, um, you know, normal saddles, which it's kind of a cool little thing. Everybody likes the brass saddles on a telly. Why not throw the brass saddles on a telly? So I'm going to play this a little bit. We're going totally clean into the Blues Junior, rocking and rolling back between these three pickups and, uh, you know, pickup selections, starting with the neck or the rhythm, working my way down. But it's just a really beautiful, full, crisp, rounded tone that I think really lends itself well to the jazz stuff, the blues stuff, and uh, everything that a telly really wants you to play on it. So, without further ado, here's a little bit of the gold foil telly. <laughs> Thank you. 
so there you have it. There's a little taste of the gold foil sound. Now, obviously, the pickup is going to reflect, yes, the, you know, the inherent nature of what is going on in that pickup. These are Alnico 5 magnets in this. So it's got a certain kind of flavor. The humbucker, it all kind of lends itself, but also uh, the gold foil is going to react based off whatever the body is, um, how you're playing it. You know, it's not like you can just do an easy, this is the gold foil sound. But I do think that it's easy to tell that this is not a normal, telly, snappy, very bright in your face sound. Um, it definitely adds a lot of character. Probably not the best choice for the total chicken picking country, you know, hardcore, breaking out of the mix, forefront, bridge pickup only guy. However, it would not sound bad in that setting. I think it would just give more of a, you know, like we've, I've been saying, this rounded, warm tone on top of that, what you kind of expect from a telly. The neck pickup is going to be pretty warm, great for chords, and the bridge pickup is going to be great for leads. It's like that everywhere. But the gold foil um, mini humbucker lends its own sound, and it's very cool. And I think that the Jazz Master, we're going to see also something similar. Um, you know, they're just, Jazz Masters are built for all kinds of music, not just jazz, but a gold foil on a Jazz Master, it's what it's going to lend itself to, I think, but we will see when we get it. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions on this one, you can find them uh, answered at alamomusic.com, or you can comment below, ask us questions. I'm happy to answer anything. Uh, I failed to also say that this is a 60s C neck. I bet many of you could have guessed that. The 60s C is sort of the go-to that I think a lot of kind of limited releases like this, unless they're 50s or 70s, the 60s C is sort of the go-to. Um, but it's a fantastic sounding guitar. I like it, and I hope that you dig it too. I think they are going to be limited edition. I don't know how many they're making. We got our initial order in for these, so we got a handful, and we're waiting on the Jazz Masters. But if you are interested, I would act now. They're not going to be around for a long time, unless Fender comes at us and says they're a wild success. They're part of the collection now. I don't think that's going to be the case because they don't often make a lot of gold foil stuff, but we shall see. If you want them to keep it around, it's worth it to let us know in the comments if you dig it. Because um, I dig it and I think it's cool. Let us know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Find the rest of the details at almomusic.com, and we'll see you next time.